What's inside the Milky Way? Contrary to popular belief, Milky Way isn't only a chocolate. It's a whole universe, one that's unimaginable. Now is a great time to study and learn about the Milky Way. And this is no joke or a fairy tale because we're going to actually tell you every single thing you need to know about the Milky Way in this video. So let's begin. The Milky Way is a confined spiral galaxy about 13.6 billion years old with long arms that can turn. Las Cumbres Observatory says that our galaxy's disk is about 100,000 light years across and only 1,000 light years thick. The solar system moves around the center of the Milky Way, just like Earth moves around the Sun. According to the website Interesting Engineering, even though our solar system is moving through space at about 515,000 miles per hour, it takes about 250 million years for a single turn. When our planet was in this situation the last time, dinosaurs were just starting to appear and mammals had not yet come into being. If the center of the Milky Way were a city, we'd live about 25,000 to 30,000 light years away in the suburbs. We live in one of the smaller neighborhoods, the Orion Cygnus Arm, which is between the bigger Perseus and Carina Sagittarius Arms. It's a good place to live in, right? We would find the Scutum Centaurus and Norma guns if we went toward the center of the city. When there is no light pollution and the sky is clear, we can see the bright lights of the galaxy city moving across the night sky. Our galaxy is named after this hazy white band of stars, dust, and gas, which is our view of the rest of the universe. An enormous black hole called Sagittarius A is at the center of the Milky Way. This beast is about 4 million times as heavy as the sun. It eats anything that gets too close, which gives it enough star material to grow into a giant. And you might be wondering, our galaxy is called the Milky Way. The Milky Way is what the American Museum of Natural History, AMNH, calls our galaxy's home because it looks milky white as it stretches across the night sky. In Greek legend, this milky band showed up because the goddess Hera sprayed milk across the sky. The Milky Way has different names in different parts of the world. For example, it is called Silver River in China and Backbone of Night in the Kalahari Desert in South Africa. Everyone has their own interpretations of this unfathomable galaxy. You might be wondering the most basic question. In the Milky Way, where is Earth? Earth is about 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way, which is about halfway to the edge. We live in an area called the Orion Spur, which is sometimes also called the Orion Arm. It is a branch between the bigger Sagittarius and Perseus arms, which are to the inside and outside of our location, respectively. How would a layman describe the Milky Way? The Milky Way is a large barred spiral galaxy, but its bar isn't as big as most bars in galaxies of the same size. A spiral galaxy center has a structure of old stars that looks like a circle or a rectangle. This structure is called a central bar or central bulge. Which planet is the largest in the Milky Way? HD 100546b may be the biggest planet known in the Milky Way. It is an enormous gas giant that is still growing. Its diameter is about 6.9 times that of Jupiter, or 77 times that of Earth. Yes, you heard that right, 77 times bigger than our planet. Isn't that absolutely absurd? The measurement of the radius is very unclear because some of the stuff around the planet may be pretending to be part of the planet. HAT P67b and XO6b are the two biggest planets whose sizes are known for sure. Their diameters are about 2.1 times that of Jupiter. The sizes of both of these planets have been measured directly as they pass in front of their parent star. Another basic question is that where is the Sun located in the Milky Way? The Sun is about in the middle of the galaxy disk, about 26,000 light years from the black hole, Sagittarius A. At 515,000 miles per hour, the Sun takes 230 million years to make a full circle around the galactic center. The Sun is near the edge of the Milky Way's local arm, one of the galaxy's two smaller spiral arms. 
Using data from the Gaia mission, scientists found in 2019 that the Sun is riding a wave of gas between the stars that is 9,000 light years long, 400 light years wide, and 500 light years above and below the galactic disk. The orbits of the planets in our solar system are not in the same plane as the galaxy. Instead, they are tilted by about 63 degrees. It almost feels like we're going through space backward. And the most important question arises, what is the black hole in this huge galaxy? The Milky Way's black hole is called Sagittarius A. Most of the time, the black hole is quiet, which makes it hard to watch. Astronomers Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Ghez found Sagittarius A in 2008. It has a mass that is 4.3 million times that of the Sun. It is about 14.6 million miles across. The Milky Way, on the other hand, is about 100,000 light years wide and 1,000 light years thick. Those types of numbers are just mad to even think of. Around Sagittarius A, there is a huge ring of gas that flows out 5 to 30 light years from the supermassive black hole. This huge but thin area of gas gives Sagittarius A a little bit of stuff to work with. People know that the area gives off X-rays because it eats gas or because of friction inside the disk when temperatures reach up to 18 million degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists would love to know more about this giant black hole so they could learn more about how it was made and what conditions allowed it to grow. One possibility is that smaller black holes get bigger as they eat up dust and gas in their surroundings. Another possibility is that smaller black holes join together to make something even scarier. There's a possibility of future collisions of galactic proportions. We now know that the Milky Way is part of a group of galaxies called the Local Group. This group includes more than 30 galaxies, such as Andromeda, Triangulum, and Leo 1, to name a few. It's good to know who your neighbors are because they might be closer than you think. At 250 miles per hour, the Milky Way is rushing toward Andromeda. This huge cosmic crash won't happen for another 4 billion years, so there's no need to worry just yet. We're all safe so far. NASA and other space groups have been watching other galaxies crash for decades to figure out what might happen when the Milky Way and Andromeda meet. There isn't much to worry about, but the process is interesting because it shows how galaxies may change over time. For example, when the famous Hubble Space Telescope looked at a three-way galactic crash in 2022, it found some interesting things. As the biggest of the three got into a tight orbit with the other two, its relatively stronger gravity pulled some stuff toward it. This caused a fascinating stream of gas, dust, and other things to move out into the bigger galaxy. This stream could be seen from Earth. Even though the arms of the Milky Way will be torn apart, most of the stars will be fine because there is a lot of room between them. Since there isn't much chance that two stars will crash into each other, our solar system should be pretty safe. Still, as the merger goes forward, we might be thrown into a completely different path around the new galactic center. One practical effect is that the constellations we see from Earth may change if the orbits of stars change or if new stars are added. However, the collision is so far in the future that the constellations we see now may change anyway because stars are born and die naturally all the time. Most importantly, what's the history of the Milky Way? The Milky Way began to change when clouds of gas and dust began to fall apart because of gravity. When the clouds broke apart, the first stars came out of them. These are the stars we see in globular groups today. Soon after, the circular halo in the flat galactic disk came into view. At first, the galaxy was small, and as time passed, gravity pulled everything together, and it grew. But how the galaxy changed over time is still a puzzle. So, what's the most interesting and mind-blowing thing for you about the Milky Way? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more.